Well, in honor of lawmakers' 40th season, we now continue our series of flashbacks. Tonight, in response to a viewer question, lawmakers host Jim Whipke finds out how electronic voting works from House Clerk Glenn W. Ellard. This is from 1971. going to talk to the clerk of the house who is going to explain to us just exactly what goes when they call for the vote. You uh, operate a machine here that uh, is full of bells and lights and uh, apparently some electronic tabulation of the vote. Is that correct? That's correct. How, how does it work? Well, for example, when the speaker calls for a vote on a measure, he will say the clerk will unlock the machine. When he makes that command, we press a red button here. And the bell rings. We will leave the machine in that open position, and the speaker will make the announcement, have all numbers voted. If so, the clerk will lock the machine. When he gives us that order, we press the black button here. And that locks the machine, and no vo member can vote or change his vote after we have locked the machine up here. Jack Green does that. He locks the machine and unlocks it at the direction of the speaker. Do you, do you have any discretion at all on whether or not you could lock the machine sooner or uh, later? None whatsoever. That's the speaker's prerogative. Glenn W. Ellard served as clerk of the House until 1990. And of course, electronic voting is still in use in both chambers today. This has been a Lawmaker's Flashback.